ran beer. There's no need to feel down. We said ran, ran beer. Pick yourself off the ground. We said ran, ran beer. beer. You're Paul Bollywood because you are a Kapoor and that's good. That 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 that. Your name is Ran Beer. All you bought. What? <laughs> Oh. Hey, welcome back to our stupid reactions. It is of Corbin. I'm Ranbir Kapoor. Uh, you're much less attractive in person, especially without the beard. That's true. Yeah. Uh, today, <laughs> um, you're you know why you're here. Yep. Um, but this is uh, so it dropped we. last night. But I was way sleepy, sleepy, and so was I was Rick. already asleep. He sent and me I a had, message at midnight that it, said, "You up?" I had no clue that it was dropping because I know because the, the trailer's dropping. We knew it was on, coming. The trailer, no, the trailer's coming on twenty fourth. Right. No one knew about the teaser. No. Why they're dropping the teaser two days before a trailer? Beyond me. Who I, knows? It's just that's weird. Like well, fifteen days apart is fine. It's like thirty right. days out from right. the film. Right. I don't. It's just strange. Yeah, to me. you're you're weirdos. I mean, but we're here for it, of course. Uh, obviously, the big film of Ranbir Kapoor and Sanjay Dutt and Vani Kapoor in this. It's, it's the summer of Ranbir Kapoor. Shang by the way. Shada. Yeah, another big Ranbir film. Yeah, uh, coming out. Um, there's no such thing. We've said it before. There's no such thing as oversaturation in the Indian film market. No, no. But also, he has another film. I think in four years. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. So, <laughs> it's time to come back. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, let's just get into this one. It's so I, funny how many. Do you think they purposefully, like, stayed away because we started reacting? Yes. That, there seems to be a, a, they a, were a, a scared, connection. Rick. They did not want us. They did not want this heat <laughs> coming at them. That's got to be the reason. No, they pay us. We, everybody knows it. Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> they paid us to switch from American reactions to Gully Boy. Ranveer, personally. It's true. Yeah. He personally, he flew here to America. And that's why And we... found us with 1,200 subscribers and said, please react to our stuff. Only Bollywood. And I will pay you handsomely. And then... And now we are part of the mafia. The non-Bollywoods started paying us. So now it's really this bidding war between all the film industries. <laughs> here we go. <laughs> News article. OSR admits, finally. <laughs> Dang. That was a freaking gorgeous opening shot. It's like KGF. <laughs> he just has a villain look about him. Dang. That's all real, too. I think he's Damn. wanting to branch out into action and epics. I <laughs> I could be wrong. <laughs> that looks awesome. I especially liked the last two frames. The which ones? Just those last two frames of what I believe is him. Are you joking? Wha no, I'm particularly... Okay, gotcha. Why choose those as your final frames? It, it, it bespeaks... Are you talking about that one? Yeah, the last two things of him just walking with his uh, cloak or cape or whatever he's wearing there. After all of the epic war things, to go into a more personal shot just of him walking is very interesting and also, intriguing to me. I want to, because obviously we, we praised the VFX of, of um, um, Brahmastra, right? Yeah. Very different. Very, very Equally different. as brilliant. Yeah. This looks 
I didn't see like if there was CGI in this, I didn't I didn't see much of it. Me too. I, it looked like those were all real horses. If yeah. it was CGI, fantastic, fantastic CGI. job and locations because we know a lot of the times a full location is just all green screen the graphic design. Feel of it, the the deserty kind of feel feels like Thar. Of, yeah, that we just watched and how we liked the the cinematography in that. Yeah, but even more expansive. Like, oh yeah, uh, big, I mean, much bigger, much bigger. For decades, anytime you show sand that looks epic and cinematic, you're thinking Lawrence of Arabia. But just how good that looks. Yeah, it's agreed. Like, the opening shot coming over the side of the the snowy mountain, looking down, was incredible. Yeah. That, so I mean, yeah, come on, that's that a that's a great teaser. Real. Um, yeah, it looked absolutely fantastic. It's the it's the summer of Rambeer, man. Yep, uh, a thousand percent. And he, <laughs> he get he you saw uh, Ranveer had uh, a long hair and and Fadmavat. Yeah, and he was like, I need a long hair character. That's right. That's epic. And That's so right. he did. I'm kidding, obviously. <laughs> I sincerely <laughs> doubt that was the prime motive behind that. Uh, it's called jocularity. But this man, it's going to be an epic summer. It is going to be an epic summer. It gave you vibes of KGF in the beginning. It did very much so, especially in terms of, obviously, obviously the oppressed, yeah, and the, the, the savior kind of person. Yeah, yeah, coming. yeah. It's not. It's a tale as old as time in terms of filmmaking. Yeah, exactly. Isn't it? I mean, in terms of storytelling, yeah, for, uh, f all time. There's always the protagonist and an antagonist, and uh, yeah, this has this has that. Obviously, we've only seen a little bit of this. Um, you you really have to have a terrible teaser to put me off when you see something that's a historic epic with I these two guys a, in it. I thought it was a really good I did too. Um, teaser. I thought it was a really good teaser. Um, and so... It, th it actually... It felt more like a trailer than a teaser, that one. Yeah. Which it, is very, very difficult to pull off with the length of time you have in a teaser. And, and it doesn't feel like they gave much away. No. At all. And again, the choice to have those oh, last cool two shot. moments that are not necessarily cinematic or CGI, but convey the personal storytelling artistic aspect of this is very, very intriguing to me. Oh, look at this. Look at this. So at uh, 43 seconds, that's a Brit right there. Oh, I didn't even notice that. It looks like, he, I don't know if there's an axe in the Brit or what. But there's a dead Brit under there's his feet. There's a dead feet. Brit right under Renbeer's feet. <laughs> Gotta love it. As long as the British... Uh, don't yeah. S okay, that's always my concern. But look at that! Look how pretty that is. I know the sandstorm shot. It's it's exciting because I, I I think I said it towards the beginning when RR and KGF were coming out. We're in the we're in the the time of the big Indian epics that the VFX are no longer lagging behind. Correct. That's what it was always like because obviously yep. they, India then they still don't spend as much as we do here in Hollywood. Yeah. Because obviously what um, I think Brahmastra. Is the most expensive Indian film, and it was forty-seven million dollars. Right, that's not a huge budget here. No, for a blockbuster, <laughs> for a, nothing's made at that level to be. Like you said, like, that, that would be a three hundred, like, four hundred million dollar film. Everybody was impressed that the Northman was done at ninety million. Mm -hmm. Everybody was like, "Wow, how did you do that for under a hundred million? Mm -hmm. So, yeah, th to say that they get more bang for their buck. It's true, and it, it's it's very true. When you look at just in the three and a half years now that we've been watching the films and seeing the evolution of what's gone on, early on, most films that had CGI, it was obvious, and we were talking about how it's they're they're lagging and they're going to catch up, but Even it's towards not the, close. The, the ones that we saw that year that came out, like um, Tahanji, yes, which with Saif, we were like we enjoyed the film. We had, uh, the CGI wasn't great. There were moments in it that the CGI is just straight up bad. Yeah. Um, and so the, the, to see that it's come along it's so this far is, is, is great because that's untapped potential and, and also access accessible to the world like yes, RRR is. Yes, exactly. It's one of the reasons why RRR you would cool. get, like I told the story about my, my friend's son who's in college right now and wants to be a film director. The reason that he loved it so much, aside from it being a great story with great acting and incredible numbers and great action was because he's a kid who grew up watching all the Marvel movies and didn't even blink twice at the CGI because the CGI is at the level he's used to watching. Yeah. And that's clearly what's going on. We were so blown away by Brahmastra's trailer. This one is equally yeah. and I know seemingly they, perfect. It's exciting because obviously I see that in the poster they've already said it's in IMAX, and so that's great. You're, you're, awesome. You definitely want this film in IMAX. Yep. 
I don't know if this the the horse thing in the formation is a Joda Akbar because I feel like I saw that. I mean, I guess, well, yeah, it's not, yeah, uncommon. it's kind of a I, Lord of the Rings. I guess it is. Yeah, well, right? yeah exactly. Everybody's been doing that. Um, they even had that. It was a straight line in Braveheart. But. And also, I don't know if in the end there was a lot of whistling. I didn't know if that was an ode to Cholet because anytime I hear kind of a, yeah. if it's kind of a westernish feel, I either think of Cholet, Hunger Games, <laughs> or oh, yeah. the Good, the Bad, and the Ugly. And Sanjay Dutt just has an amazing villain presence about him. Yeah, like, it's, it's he it's, just he just those eyes. The sunken eyes yeah. are just, they lend to villainous. Look at that. Whoa. That that looks straight up out of, that's Peter. That's a Peter Jackson shot right there. Also, the director, even though we haven't seen it, is the director of the Rithic Agnapath. Oh, okay, so which we haven't, we big, haven't seen, but big. A big, massive film. This one has, it's such. It looks great. It, do, it just looks great. It's, it's a great very teaser. Exciting. I'm very excited about the trailer to, yep. see, to see a little more. And this only comes out in a month from today. What is it? What's the date? Oh, Brahmastra's September after that. September, yeah, yeah, yeah. Around September or August. Yeah, but yeah, this is coming first. Um, Anyways, great, really cool, great teaser. You thought about the teaser, and we'll be here for hopefully. Hopefully, they'll drop the time of the trailer soon, and it's like not crazy. Yeah, I'll (laughs) go ahead and message me in about fifteen minutes. I'll turn around. (laughs) Uh, Let us know what you thought about the the trailer down below. Josh.